Hello everyone, my name is Sir Spooks, and today we'll take a look at five mysterious cryptid videos you've hopefully never seen. Cryptids are animals presumed by certain people to exist, based on stories of encounters and other evidence that mainstream science considers insufficient. Well, these five videos may have you believe that some of these creatures could actually exist. So, let's begin. The dire wolf is a now extinct species. It's one of the most famous prehistoric meat eaters in North America. Dire wolves lived as recently as 9,440 years ago. It is the largest species of the genus Canis known to have existed. This video from October 1st, 2015 allegedly shows a dire wolf. A man went outside and found a huge wolf-like creature in his front yard chasing his dog. This creature looks massive and has impressed many people online. Let's take another look, slow down. Some said it could be a wolf suffering from gigantism, while others believe it's simply a large wolf or a normal timber wolf. However, many with an interest in cryptozoology have stated that they were astounded by this piece of footage. There's no information about what happened to the dog. But the man recording the video certainly seemed scared that something bad could happen. Nine species of flightless birds native to New Zealand were known as moa. By 1445, all moa had become extinct, mainly due to the arrival of human settlers. Experts believe that it's extremely unlikely that these birds have survived and gone unnoticed for over 500 years. However, there have been several claims of people encountering moa since their supposed extinction. A video from April 15, 2017, allegedly shows a real living moa sighted in Northland, New Zealand. Take a look. Now let's try and slow down the footage. Comment down below. And then forget to subscribe. Fuck you. Click the notification button. For me, uh... oh, I see. There. Yeah, that's honey. <laughs> this video has gained a bit of interest from people interested in the subject, but some people claim that they're able to tell that it's a human in a costume, thereby claiming it to be a That is English. Well, okay, thank you. Number three. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> British big cats, also referred to as alien big cats, are reports of Philidae, not native to Britain, that allegedly inhabit the British countryside. They are often reported as black panthers, pumas, or black cats. There have been thousands of sightings in the 1760s. In this documentary, Animal X investigates these cryptids, and in it, several pieces of video evidence are shown. Another video was recorded in 2004 and was shown on the news. It shows a large black cat near a farm in Shropshire. 
well, I was in the garden hanging out the washing, and he appeared at the pool by the garden, which is about 100 yards away. That was the first time I saw him, and I just gathered the kids up and went in the house as quick as I could. Told my husband and father-in-law, and they just went down and chewed him off, near enough. Just went down to find him, and he just disappeared by then. A very large amount of sightings have especially been reported in the counties or regions of Devon, Yorks, Scotland, Wales, Glaugs, Sussex, Cornwall, Kent, Somerset and Leeds. The most famous of all sightings is probably the Beast of Bodmin, which was sighted several times in 1978. Uh, the second time I saw him, I was, uh, it was um, February holiday. And I got some children here, and my three children. Stephen came up through the yard and says, Come here, kids, come and look at this black cat. And that was the second time. So. Do you guys believe that British big cats exist? There's a lot more interesting footage available. So if you guys want me to make a video exclusively on British big cats, I'd definitely consider it. The thylacine, also known as the Tasmanian tiger or the Tasmanian wolf, was the largest known carnivorous marsupial of modern times. It was native to Australia, Tasmania and New Guinea and came extinct in the 20th century. In 1973, Gary and Liz Doyle shot 10 seconds of 8mm film showing an unidentified animal running across and alongside a South Australian road. Many believe this to have been a thylacine. <laughs> Sorry guys for the inconvenience. <laughs> Another piece of footage from 2008 shows a Western Victoria sighting of the possible thylacine. So, what do you guys think? Could the thylacine still exist, or are all the sightings just too blurry to tell? Ogo Pogo is a lake monster reported to be living in Okanagan Lake in British Columbia, Canada. In 1946, a sighting of the lake monster was claimed to have occurred in which about 30 cars of people all claimed to have witnessed the same thing. Since then, it has been sighted many times. <laughs> a video uploaded to YouTube Sorry. in 2010 oh, claims to show real footage shown in the 1970s of the Ogo Pogo. However, I'm not really sure this was shot in the 1970s, as it appears to be slightly older. Maybe I'm wrong though. Nevertheless, take a look at the footage. Wow, that's a very nice reaction. <laughs> The uploader claims that this footage was uncovered while he was transferring his grandparents' old 8mm home movies to a digital format. What I find strange, however, is that I read about a famous piece of Okopogo footage shot in 1968 by Arthur Follin. But what's weird is that I for some reason can't find this video anywhere online. I'm not saying that the uploader of this video allegedly shot in the late 70s is lying, I'm just speculating. If you guys know how to find the 1968 Arthur Folk video, please let me know. And that was five mysterious cryptid videos you hopefully hadn't seen. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Sir Spooks for updates. And subscribe to my channel for more scary content. My name is Sir Spooks. See you all in the next video. Motherfucking time.